Clients modeling bench, how are we doing? Look at this. So, here we have it, at long last. This is one, so this is the nine. And I've also got another one, which is a seven C as well. But that won't be here until tomorrow at best. So we've just got this one to do with it at the moment. So <clears throat> we can go with part one on this, and this will be the look in the box. Now it's a big box. I've had to take the camera right up on the phone. I've literally got the lid off as such. So uh, this is, uh, oh God. Howdy kids. Right, <clears throat> so here we go. So it's, it's, it's the Revel Type 9C U67 and U154 German U-boat submarine. Uh, code for this one is 05166. Um, it says it's new. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Um, we'll just take their word for it, I suppose. So along the side of the box, I'm having to do this at an angle. Um, you've got a couple of pictures there. And a little bit of bump on the model. And then turn around on the other side. And then you've got just a picture of the built thing. Anyway, that's boxes. Nobody's interested in boxes. More interested in what's in this thing. So I'll lift this out. Now this is where the submarine was on the top, but I've had to open it up and make sure it's all there. Which it is. There's not a lot of it, but it's you know it's all there. So um without further ado I'll take this stuff out and uh I'll just plonk it on the side because all, all the bags were open apart from these two and this this one here. And we got the Dick Hillers. We've got them in a minute. Warning paper, plans and paint scheme. And then the rigging, which is all coming off the holder. Right. Get rid of that. Now, um, how are we going to do this? I suppose. Uh, we'll start off with the smaller packages and um, I shall sit back down at my desk and uh, well let's, let's lower this a bit so that we can get a good look in uh, put all this to one side have a look at that in a minute I'll just start off with the usual plans that's right so right here we go so, so. Coming out a bit. So here we are. So <clears throat> nice, colourful picture of the model. Finished. Um, that actually looks like quite a, a nice one to do with the black conning tower and the camo. So um, yeah, but we'll find out. So usual revel plans, do's, don'ts, paints. I never tell you those of them. This is just sprues. So this is what you get in a bag. Uh, there's part of your conning tower floor. That goes in the hole in here. Um, and then you've got that sprue there with the rest of the conning tower and the bits and bobs on. And then you've got two of these. And then your rigging wire there. So, then you've got another couple of sprues. That's a stand and another piece to go inside here. Um, and then all your bits and bobs. Like I say, bits and bobs, this is and that's. I'm, I'm not a, a boat man, um, so do please forgive me if I say something that's not right, because I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know much about these things. Right, so, um, right, what we got here, we've got to drill loads of little holes in the bottom there, um, and drill some holes in these for the rudders, I take it, I don't know what these are for, but, uh, and then there's another couple of holes there. And then you've got to do something there. So that's that's part one. That's basically looking at the... Um, now, it's going to call it a fuselage. But it's not a fuselage. It's a hole. I don't know, is it a hole? I've heard of a hole. Been so it's the bow. No. Or the stern. The bow, the stern, the hull. I think... I'm sure that somebody will correct me, John. <laughs> anyway, that's that. So then we're on to 
bit two, and that looks like the upper deck pieces there, and then this is the torpedo there, and then you're, you're putting the two halves of the hull together. Uh, I don't know what these are. Might be torp oh, torpedo tubes. Oh, for the rear, bloody hell. Cool, this was a nasty git, weren't it? Uh, then the bow sec uh, then the stern section being put together and then joining the, the two lots together to make a complete sub. And in the rest of it, you can obviously have these doors open and closed, which I did on my last one, or my first one. Um, again, what inspired me to get one of these? Um, it was my friend James, James Middleton. Hello, buddy. Uh, he built one of the Mark Seven, the, the original one I got. And um, yeah, he did such a good job. It inspired me to go and get one and, and build it. But obviously over the years that I've had the last one, it did get damaged. And so hence the reason why I've now bought these two to do, and do a kind of a build with a weathering. And um, just to show you guys that, um, you know, how I go about doing things to do with some, some kind of realistic weathering anyway. Um, a lot of it is in my head, so I, I kind of get a picture how I want to do these things, and then I'll go from there. Whether they actually end up like that in real life is another story, but it's just just for my purposes only. Um, there we go, we're going through it, and building the stand there. Uh, again, that's, I don't know, what, it might be part of what looks like a gun. Um, I don't know. Like I say, it's all... All new to me. Oh, here we go. Here's the gun. Yeah, here's that part of a gun. Uh, there's your big gun. That's your small gun. <laughs> and there's another gun. So it's got three guns. Jesus. Pretty well armed for a submarine. Especially seeing as in this day and age, submarines don't... I don't think they have guns. At least not ones like this, because they, they're normally just torpedo launchers, isn't they? rocket launchers and oh, whatever else launchers. So then we're putting our periscope. I do know that's a periscope. Whether they both are, I don't know. I've just got three of them. Oh, Christ, now I'm lost. Periscopes. Life preserver. More stuff going on to the conning tower. To finish it off, there's one of the guns. <coughs> and then putting it onto the actual sub base hull. Two guns, one at each end. Um, and then you're on your last bit to, oh right, that has got a saw. I didn't realize it had. Only on U67, so you can use a saw, so you can, yeah. And again, whatever this is, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what these are, I don't know nothing about. And then finally, you've got your rigging. Um, so, and there we go. Sorry about the shadow. I'm trying to block it out with my arm. So then you've got your rigging and then these little bits here that I remember on the last, on the first boat, they, they were like moulded plastic and you just, I think you just run your rigging wire through them. And then finally, after it's all done, that is what you should end up with. Pretty nifty. As a matter of fact, it looks exactly the same as the as the first one, other than the conning tower may be slightly different on the rear. I don't believe it had three periscopes. And the railing along the side wasn't a flat flush, it, it went up and down. Yeah. So anyway, that's the plans. Right, we'll get those out of the way. Um, then we've got uh, the paint plans. So this is U6, oh, this is the one with the cutter. So, yeah, this is pretty good. No camo on there, a bit on the tower. Um, but, uh, yeah, and there's your bow and stern. Just to show you what the paint looks like when it comes up here. And, ah, no, 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 this is different, yeah, because on the side of the other one I've got, it's got some rather large tanks on the side some flotation tanks and it doesn't have it with this obviously being the type 9 I don't know um, 
So this one was for, basically it was used, this as it sits in the plans is a train in, in the Baltic Sea in winter 1941. Turn it over. And then the other one you get here, which is the one I thought was quite interesting with the Black Tower, is um, the first patrol of the North Atlantic on the 7th of February 1942 to the 1st of March in 1942. So this was a little bit of a, hmm, yes, could have rocked some... I, I, I tell you what, my, my uncle used to be up in the North Atlantic. Um, I can't remember the name of his... Uh, ship that he was on. It was a uh, uh, one of the patrol boats for the Royal Navy, uh, Mauritius, HMS Mauritius, I think it was. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I'd love to know what that boat looks like. So, uh, and even whether there is a model of it, because um, he served with the Royal Navy, and um, I wonder if he must have seen, maybe possibly seen some of these. But uh, yeah. So there you go, so that's your two paint plans, 61 and 62s on your music. That's the one with the razor blade on the front. But, um, yeah, I don't know whether we do that or not, but there you go. And then uh, the other bit is your decals. Um, yeah, not a lot of them really, is there? So a few markers there. Obviously, you don't get the swastika that goes in there. Uh, I don't know what that is, some sort of horn blowing farting cow or something, I don't know. Um, and then the, for the stand, this is for the stand. And then some others. For the other one, oh, excuse me. So yeah, decals, not a lot of, but then again, they didn't have a lot of anything on them in them submarines, I wouldn't have thought. So that's that, right. So we got, uh, oh, where's my niff? Here it is. So we've got two of these. No, I only need to open one. And then basically what you got on here is uh, your, um, oh, here we bloody go, rudder. <laughs> Rudders. Bow plane. Oh, I don't know, I am. Hmm, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe I should stop guessing and just show you. So anyway, this is one. <laughs> I know they're parts of the gun. Oh, they're, they're those things that go on the rigging. This is all part of the gun, because there's the gun there. Uh, and th those bits, th they go on the back somewhere. Uh, don't know what that is. It's just a rod. So it could be to hold the submarine holes apart. Hey, hey. I don't know. Anyway, that's that one. That's 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 for we'll put that back in a minute. So the next one, let's open this up here. Good old revel wrapping. Right, here we go. And uh, there's one there, look. Right, so in this one we have got Uh, let's go out a bit. So in this one, we've got the Peter tubes for the front, the propeller shaft holders in the rear. Um, oh, that's all to do with the rudder and stuff, yeah. <coughs> Periscopes, two of, yeah, two of there. And um, the props, or the, is it props or screws? Screws, sounds more. Naval, <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, them, and then the anchor, there's one anchor on this one, and a few other bits and bobs, so yeah, all good there. Um, you now this one's got two screws in it. <coughs> oh, this is the um, <coughs> this is the the um, I've got it upside down. So that's the part of the conning tower. Get those out of the way because they're not part of this kit. Uh, don't know what they are. Uh, that's part of the conning tower. That, I think, I don't know what that is. Probably part of the back end. A few bits of one of the rails there. 
of that sprue. And then again with this one, there's the razor tooth and that for um, cutting its way through barbed wire mesh, uh, mesh netting, I suppose, anything like that that's underwater. Um, I don't know what they are. They look like rockets, but they can't, they can't be bloody rockets. But these are the pitot tube holders. That's the, that's the deflector for all the waves when they come over the top. So that's that. Right, and then the last packet is, it is, open, isn't it? Yeah. is just basically... Oh, it's not open. It's stuck on one side, look. All right, there you go. And that consists of the stand and some interior pieces for... Uh, the boat says the stand, interior pieces, an interior piece there, and then finally the floor to the um, the deck, and that's that. Yeah, all good. All right. So there. Oh yeah. And then last one. Oh god, it's all cover ravels. Oh, it's a poxy thing, and this is the rigging. Oh, that do it. Yeah, that's your rigging. And that's it. So, um, oh, no, 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 hang on. There's some more. Yes, because we forgot the bloody thing itself. So, uh, if we go back out to that one. Right, this is the um, said hole. Whoops. That one out like one of the torpedoes out the tube then. Right, so we're all a bit corrupt up here. So this is the stern. Pretty sure that's what you call it, yeah. So there's the there's the stern. And then you've got your your other bit there. Little slots on there. And th that's all the detail as you can. I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look at the detail first on this one. So, um, yeah, there we go. It's a nice detail, eh? You know, plenty of the old pop rivets. But they're not pop rivets. I don't know what they call them, domed rivets. I don't know, I don't know what they're... Rivets. There's a few of them. There's that. And then you've got your... your oh, your side. Uh, I don't know what these things are whether there's anything that goes over them vent-wise. And then you've got them all on another little vent down there. And then your markers for your stand. And like I say, there it all is. And then you're coming up to your front end, so this is where one of those bow planes will be. The anchor goes in there. And then you've got your front end. Now, what was those, what those bloody holes? Oh, there they all are, here, look. All these little holes that have to be drilled. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll find out what they're for. They might be for the railings, actually. And then, once, so, there's your, your hole. So this, obviously, goes like that. With all the, uh, bits and bobs. You've got to cut these things out in order for the front to stick together. So yeah, it's um, yeah, it's, it's quite nice. I actually like that. It's um, yeah, pretty darn good. And then finally, the final bit of the puzzle is the deck. So this might give you an idea as to how long it is. So you know, that's it, that's as far as the camera zooms out. So it goes from there to I 
there you go you've got that much more added onto that end <coughs> and going from the back yeah let's have a look so this is the detail you got it i've got a nice bit of sunlight on it for you look at all that lot beautiful detail it really is and then we've got this bit which is the front is this is the front no, that was the front. This has got to be the rear then. Arse end. And you got all that detail there. Some nice looking detail there. And then finally, you've got the, the main bit of it. And again, the sunlight catches it. It's obviously where a gun goes there. And several hatches. Here you got the conning tower. And that's where they loaded torpedoes. I presume, I don't know, I don't know what to say. And you got this one with the other gun, another hatch, another couple of hatches there. And that's it. And, and then that's it, and that is her. That is the line, isn't it? Yeah, because the only thing I've got down on the floor is a, a repeat of one of the other sprues, because it was two sprues the same. So, <coughs> uh, there you go. Um, that is that is the U-Boat 9C. Um, I've got Revel 7C coming to us. Hopefully that'll be here tomorrow. Oh, I had a sip of drink. Um... Yeah, so here we go. So I, I, um, I'll call this a look in the box, or Jack in the box, or sub in the box, rather than calling this part one, because just in case I don't do this one first and I decide to do the seven first. Um, or why don't you not choose which one I'll do first, either this one or the, or the seven. But the seven, I think, is a bit different from... The other seven I did, the first seven. But either way, it, it doesn't matter. Whichever one. I mean, you can always wait until we've had a look at the other one. And uh, like I say, if it's here tomorrow, it's here tomorrow. And um, <clears throat> yeah, wait until we've had a look at it and then go from there. And then decide. I'll put out a vote if you like. You know. But um, yeah, there it is. So, um, right, well, we'll crack on. And um, thanks for looking in. Uh, like and subscribe. It was a thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, and then um, we'll go to the vote on uh, the next video once I've got the other one and we've seen it. And um, yeah, or I can just decide myself and say, right, yeah, because you never know if the, if the seven is similar to the other seven I've done, then this one will be the one to do. But I'm liking what I'm seeing. So um, yeah, very impressed. And it's um, yeah quite straight as well. So there's hardly any ripples in it. <coughs> so, without further ado, thanks very much, guys and girls, if there is any girls that watch this. And, um, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Take care. Stay safe. Keep making those models. See you again in the next one. Tuddy bye.